Hello and salut everybody. So I want to talk to you about doom spending. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, you are about to find out. Welcome back to Chatting with Nicole. If you have not subscribed, please do me a favor, subscribe right now and also check out the rest of the videos. So here I am watching the news and I heard something saying uh, there's a report about doom spending. And I was like, what? You may have heard it before, but this is my first time hearing about this. And doom spending it happens on the holiday season. So they are saying that the doom spending is when you know you don't have money, but it's easier to put it on. You know, it's like when you are charging on your credit card, you just buying stuff. You know, it is difficult things that, you know, you, your situation is doomed, <laughs> but you still prefer to spend the money you don't have anyway. So your situation is doomed. You don't have money, you know, but you have a credit card. So you put in everything on a credit card because you're like, what you know there's nothing for you to lose <laughs> well that that something for you to nothing for you to lose but you know it's already worse it's already bad so you're just going to go ahead and spend anyway because it makes you feel good so you're spending money you do not have because it's easier to spend than to think about it to face reality it's easier to spend than to save the little that you have instead it's easier for you to feel like everybody else um, at the moment. So everybody is doom spending for the holiday. And after the holiday, that's when the credit card bills and then the, the, the rates for the credit card debt is going to go up. That's when you start getting the, you know, the bills and then you are frustrated and then you want to kill your children and then you hating all those stuff that you purchase. Or you hating other people, um, everything that is going on, or you hating your life, you blaming in other other people. But this was a decision you made. So doom spending is actually a thing, and it's going on right now. Because I asked myself, I said, with well, the inflation and everything is so high, but when you go to a store just to buy one thing, the line is all the way to outside, and I'm like, okay, so how is it that the inflation? And everything we are complaining, but people are still buying like this. There was one time when I was going to Africa and I went to get something and I saw so many bags, you know, handbags in the store. And then I went back to get another one because I wanted to, for somebody. And when I went back, it was finished. And I was like, what happened? And I asked them like, did you guys move or did it? No. Because people are spending money. You are spending money and I am included too. But, you know, we just have to doom spending. I'm not doom spending, but, you know, it's, it's a thing and it's happening right now because we are spending. So that's confusing the market. So if we are saying the inflation, everything is high and we be spending this way. That's why, you know, the government can say that, you know, <laughs> they, they can raise rates. They continue to raise rate because we are spending the money we don't have. And that is wrong because we have to pay for these. And when the time, that's when we get frustrated. You get depressed and then you have to go to the hospital. You get a heart attack. You get all of that. You're fighting with your husband, with your wife, with your children. You are in bad mood after the holidays. Doom spending is a real thing, but I want you guys to think about it. Stop doom spending. If you are doom spending, I want to bring it to your attention. I want to wake you. Stop doom spending. All these things you have to buy to people for people, you don't have to. There are people who don't even need. We buy things we give to people. They just trash it. They're like, what, why is this person giving me this? You know, we just want to spend and be like other people. Just because everybody, other people are buying things for the holidays or buying this, buying that. Just because something is popular, it doesn't mean you have to buy it too. Just because your daughter said that she won a $500, you know, sneakers, that doesn't mean you have to buy it. Just because you have this bag shining all the time and you just want to, you don't have to do spend. Spend time with your people instead. They will appreciate you instead. Open an account. If you have $100, open an account and open a custodial account for your children. Put $100 in it instead. 
I promise you, that is a better gift. Spend time with your children instead. People that you 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 feel like we feel like we have to buy a gift for everybody. I haven't I I, I don't even remember the last time I did that. We have to buy a gift for everybody. You don't have to buy a gift for everybody if you don't have it. You don't have to be part of gift exchange or whatever and it obligate you to buy things. You don't have to do it if you don't have the money. If you have the money, it's good to give gifts. It's good to give gifts. I always believe in giving than receiving. And that's how it is. I don't even receive. I just give. I believe in giving. But when you don't have it and you just doom spending, and when you are giving, give, 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 give that is worthy of, you know, like a gift that is going to change somebody's life, a gift that is going to be helpful for somebody, a gift that is going to change their life, like useless gift. And you're spending it on, on doom, you know, spending, <laughs> you spending on your car that you're going to have to suffer for later. No. So I want you to stop doom spending guys. If you don't have the money and you just put in everything on your card because everybody else is doing it, because these things are popular, because whatever, stop it. Stop it. Your pocket, your, your sanity is going, to, is going to thank you after the holidays. Stop it. And stop giving gifts that is useless gift to people. You're not obligated. It's okay not to give gifts. It's okay not to give everybody what they want. It's okay to just give what you can. It's okay to do something different if you don't have the money. So please stop doom spending. And it's okay. Don't, don't be saying, well, I'm just going to spend it anyway. No. Think about it. Think about your children. Do something that is worth it. That is useful. That is worthy. Do something better than just buy things, spend money on things for your children. I promise you, if you open a custodial account, you put just a hundred dollars in it. It's better than buying $600 sneakers. If you just go to your friend and just hug them, you know, it's better than buying them some useless thing that you're going to spend $50, a hundred dollars on it. Spend time instead. Call people instead. I promise you, if you call somebody on Christmas and just to hear their voice, just to talk to them, it's better than a gift that you're going to give them. They may not eat, never even use it. So be, think about it. Use and do other things than having to spend money because you feel obligated. You are not obligated to spend money, to do spend money you do not have. So I want you guys to be creative. Do something else. Give your time instead, you know, call people, give your voice instead, you know, do something rather than just spending and doing and, and wanting to be like other people and, 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 and wanting to give the best gift when you don't have the money. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Doing spending is real. For those of you who did not know, it is real. And if you're doing it, you don't know that there was a name for it. <laughs> this is the name for it. It is called doom spending. When you are spending money that you don't have because you feel obligated or you feel like you want to be like other people, you feel like it's better to spend than, you know, uh, to struggle, to worry about it uh, just because you have a credit card. So stop doom spending or borrowing money just because you want to be like other people, just because you want to give best, best gift, just because you want to be, you know, uh, the best father or best mother of the year. Spend time with your children instead, you know, give them something that is going to be useful for their future instead. Speak to them, teach them something, have one-on-one -on -one with your children instead, but stop doom spending. Stop doom spending this holiday season. Stay safe and blessed. But before you do, I want you to, you know, subscribe and share and also check out the rest of the videos. Stay safe and blessed and I'll see you on the next one.